Hi Libra, this is your official weekly reading. How are you? If you're new, hi, welcome. My name is Michelle, and this is your official weekly reading. Before I start, um, I want to remind you guys that my readings have no date. They are divinely guided. Everything has to free will. Not everything is going to resonate with everybody. And keep in mind that the rules could be the rest between you and your person. And once again, these are all general, not personal readings, okay? And with that said, let's dive in. Thank you for everybody who has supported me and who has keep messaging me for, you know, my health and all that. I've been taking every single advice very seriously. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for those who did follow my new Instagram account, uh, um, Kelly Kali. Uh, that is my jewelry line that I'm creating. So thank you so much for the love and support. Um, I don't know what I will do without you guys. And as you guys see, I got my voice back. I'm getting my voice back. I've been chugging so many antibiotics because I couldn't speak whatsoever. So this video might be a tiny bit shorter than usual, but I'm just trying to not destroy my, my throat so quick, okay? So let's dive in. Libra, what do you really need to know? The nine on ones in reverse. So we got the chariot in reverse. We got the nine on ones in reverse. So I see Cancer, I see Fire, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, and I also see Page of Pentacles in reverse. This is Earth Signs, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. We got the Hero Font, Taurus Energy. Thank you, Spirit. We have the Eight of Swords, Your Energy, Gemini, and Aquarius. Thank you so much. The death card in reverse. And overall energy. The hermit in reverse. Virgo energy. The emperor Aries energy. And the five of wands. At the bottom of the deck. Okay. So it seems to be that some we are stuck on this connection. We are stuck on no communication. Or not really knowing exactly where this is going with you and that specific person that you have in your mind um <clears throat> it seems to be that you have been very very strong when it comes to not being reaching out not stressing over that over that that much giving them the space even though it seems to be because i've seen and i can sense it it hasn't been that easy though it has not been that easy you have been trying very very hard to give this person the space that they want or they need and you're trying to understand um that everything happens for a reason that's what i heard uh with the eight of swords in the death card but you're still on this on this energy that should i should i should i move on should i not because i don't want to be wasting my time but we don't think, believe it or not this person is coming back so this person is presented as the death card right this is scorpio energy but what am i trying to say with the death card right here i'm telling you is that this person is coming back from the dead and that's going to be the title of this reading coming back from the dead like somebody that you haven't speak to seen in a while that you were like holy f you know this person might be gone and i'm not even gonna see them they're coming back and I got a lot of information. So the hermit right here in the reverse. This is the ghoster, right? That's what I call it, right? And this ghoster is coming a person, meaning that this person disappeared, da -da -da, and they're coming back again. So whenever you feel you are in the in the deepest or like the farthest, like, oh no, I'm gone. I'm good. I'm not doing this shit no more. This person shows up. Because that's how it is. And with the emperor right here, but they face a new Libra, like I've been seeing. A Libra who stands up for themselves and a Libra who is very on demand. Because like I said before, I feel like a lot of people are very interested in you, even though they haven't told you. And I also see that Libra are very, very strong-willed. Like they don't want to get hurt again. And like, they're like, hmm, I might not take you. Like, I don't know. So it's a very distinguished situation. Um, you are not, you are not expecting this for sure because they are represented as a dead card, meaning that you really thought this dude or this woman was, or this girl was over, like, like that you were not going to see them again. And here they are. Let's find out what the heck is going on. So why is this person who is represented as the Scorpio card, the death card is coming back? Why are they here now? Can you tell me why are they here now? Thank you, spirit. With the five of pentacles they were lost and now they're not let me just get all the cards and i'll tell you Thank you, 
Okay. So we have the Five of Pentacles in reverse, Two of Pentacles, which is Earth, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Five of Cups, and the Moon, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Ten of Wands, uh, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, Four of Cups in the reverse, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Overall Energy, Three of Pentacles, which is Cancer, Taurus, Virgo, and then the Nine of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Again, Fire, right? It seems to be that this person was lost in the beginning. They were lost and they walked a very long walk of being lost. And the more they walk, the long, the lonelier they felt. And they were very, very alone because they were pushing everybody away. This person was so lost. They were pushing everybody away. And they were, they were complaining like, oh, nobody's here when I need it. But the thing is that they were never able to see who were there for them so they wouldn't cherish whoever was there for them so it was their own fault now they are in the better mindset and they see what they done they see what they done and they're like trying to balance things out it seems to be that they want to fix things with not only you but a lot of people that they did wrong with the five of cups uh on the meantime right when they were figuring this out they felt very very guilty and very bad so they were like drinking and like you know trying to forget and they felt very very embarrassed that's why some of them deleted their social media that's why some of them they don't use it because it seems to be that they're realizing how they acted and also some like specific status that they posted. They're not proud of it. And they're just too embarrassed to delete them. And with the moon in the reverse and the ten of ones, they realize that by wearing masks, by not being honest with people, by lying to people, by pushing people, because this person felt they acted like a loner, even though that they didn't need to. And then complain that they were alone. So like I said before, they realized that acting like a loner, pushing everybody away, treating people like garbage was not the key. And now they realize that everything they need to do in life is harder on your own. Like being happy, um, let's say go to a park or, you know, the, the little things that you kind of that you could enjoy with your friends, family and or your loved ones, meaning your spouse or so. They pushed everybody away because they were acting so nasty that nobody wanted to be near that kind of energy. You were the one who, who lasted the longest. But even you, Libra, who, you are kind, but you are not stupid. And you're like, you know what? See you later, you know? Now they realize, holy moly. And not that they're coming back to you because they're lonely and they miss you and they want to use you. No, it's just that, like I was telling you before, they did not cherish at the time to have somebody like you so caring so loving so independent and whenever they fix whatever issues they had they realized that oh my gosh i push everybody away including libra so they're coming back again with an apology most likely but they're also coming back just to fix things meaning that sometimes fixing things not always just for you libras for themselves because they don't live at peace because they feel very embarrassed of what they've done so they want to leave even if you guys don't work out that's what i heard they want to leave a better a better image of themselves because sometimes they they wonder like how is that libra views me how is that libra what is like the things that libra talk about me you know so like they know that they did something very bad and they know that it's not your fault that you're telling those things to maybe friends and or family because they know that they did those you know and with the four of cups in the reverse right here they they actually um like I said before, they start like, you know, try things out with people and they realize that it doesn't feel like a connection. And now it seems to be that they are more matured and, you know, in a better place, like I said before. And the people that they're meeting in life right now, they don't want anything serious. So they get used. And like I said before, this, everything that I'm telling you has helped them to realize that what they did to you was wrong, how they acted was wrong, and that they need to come back and make it up to you and perhaps try something if there is any chance and or possibility. They find you like a very, like a piece of art, Libra, like a very attractive person. Uh, it seems to be that somebody has a picture of you, this person has a photo of you, and it could be a nude. If it's not a nude, it's like some somewhere that you see that your body's showing. And of course, if it's not everybody, um, but for whoever does, they've been looking at a photo for a long time and they are wondering about you because, not because they're just sexually attracted to you, because again, if they were just sexually attracted to you, they can just use the photo for other purposes, right? But they're not. They're actually coming in to, uh, coming in to talk to you. Um, they just don't, don't understand how they could let you go. They don't understand how they didn't see it. And it's like, how blind could I, could I be, you know? And 
Have you heard this song that's called that's that says it's not over? It's like it's not over. Cause you uh, and blah blah blah. Cause you are the only one. This love is killing me. You are the only one. It's not over. Ah, uh, you see, American Idol. There you go. Like I said before, I don't sing just in the shower, but I tried. So anyways, that's the song that I just heard while I was telling you this. So it's like, they're just hoping and like, oh, I hope it's not over. I hope I don't mess. I have messed it up so bad. And they're coming in like desperately. You see this? Very desperate. Like, like very desperate, like trying to, to get in contact with you. Because it's like, no, no, no. She or he was the only one. He was or she was my one. And I fucked up. You know what I'm saying? So. Orale. Orale, babacito. So let's see. What are their feelings for Libra right now? What are their true feelings for Libra right now? Thank you, Spirit. King of Cups, the Nine of Swords in reverse. The Five of Swords. Um, the Swords. <laughs> the Ace of Cups. The Fool in reverse. Aries. Judgment. Oh, The Death card. <laughs> Scorpio. Again. And the bottom. The Six of Cups in the reverse. And the Magician. I see your energy. I see Pisces and Scorpio. I see Gemini Aquarius. I see Aries. And I see Libra and Sagittarius. And a Scorpio once again. So. Oh boy. Okay. So it seems to be that they do have feelings for you. But they don't want to be the douche. Right? That they were in the past. They don't want to offer you the same thing. They don't want to act the same way. So yes, it's them. But they're not the same person. Their intentions has changed. The approach towards you and the way they see you has changed. Whatever you say, whatever you give them, is looked and seen and appreciated very differently. With the Nine of Swords in the reverse. And they do know that it's very hard to get somebody's trust back. And they're quite convinced that the image that they left within you know your memory and all the image that you have in your memory is very hard to erase and they're very stressed out whenever they come back whenever they're here with you right how can i erase that you know because they understand that they can't erase the past but they will actually like to do so much for you that you will actually be able to say the past don't count anymore that you can see them for who they really are right now with the five of swords right here they are willing to give you the space that you need if that's what you need but like i said before they do want to make it up to you that's what i'm hearing here there's somebody here that's watching you from afar that is like hesitating to talk to you hesitating to to reach out to you because they don't want to bother you and at the same time it's somebody who is aware of their wrongs they're aware of that and they're afraid they are afraid to come back into your life because even though that the intentions are good they don't want to be the one to that hurts you again you know because some of you are doing your own thing like i said before and in social media and so people could see it or some people has asked about you and they're like you know being told by other people like hey they're doing good libra's doing fine and they it's like they have to come back and they have to talk to you but at the same time they're hesitating because they don't want to be the one that you know holds you back again or that makes you sad or, or that you know so there's a lot of things going on in their head but it seems to be like i said before it is a very like intense feelings for you they have here a love offer for you they do want something with you seriously this time they don't want to play you anymore with a full and reverse right here it is not something risky no more like giving this person a chance is not risky the judgment right here uh, judgment day it has happened so whatever it is for them and whatever it is for this connection is judgment day is going to happen whenever this person you know and you decide whatever you guys are going to decide if talk or so judgment which 
is sometimes represented or known as karma is done because like i said before it was very chaotic it was very very difficult and it was like sometimes you know very energetically exhausting and all of that has changed like i said before it is not risky anymore to give this person a chance if you want to they don't want to just see where this goes they know where they want this to go they want this to go to the altar they want this connection to go to higher levels of commitment or others of you you know if you don't want to get married but they know what they want before they didn't know what they want before they didn't know where to go with you before it was very different very very risky it was like it was i heard this i'm gonna say how i heard it is i have too much to risk for a ghost i have too much to risk for a boy or a girl who's always a ghost so like i said before you are not gonna risk it you know and nobody's like believe me you're like i wouldn't either but right now it's this person will tell you what you can expect and their emotions can be felt and their actions are going to be actually a certain thing for you to know that you can count on their honesty with a death right here like i said before the old them has died which is the player vibe the hurting you non-stop all of that has changed you know and others of you could be telling me yeah it could be it it's too late michelle and i do understand that you know i don't want you to take somebody back that it's not gonna make you happy because you already happy, you know? And that's totally understandable. And I don't want you to feel that you have to take somebody just because. No, that has never been the main thing of my readings. So, you know, I do respect it and I do, you know, like cheer you on, like, you know, like I always tell people, it's just like be respectful towards me, and towards the other subscribers, you know, like, do not bother them when they come and stuff because you know what people here are here because they want to say stuff you know unless it's bullying don't stop them <laughs> let them let them be because people will learn their own way and even if you are you know um meaning that you like what i say you are like oh i don't, I don't agree with me or not it really don't matter to be honest because i don't waste my time in arguments i just go on so like i said before this is not like a debate it's more about it is what it is because your boundaries end when somebody else's boundaries start you know so you have to keep that line but going back to the reading like i said before it is an x but the feeling of this energy feels different and it seems to be that you are gonna struggle with trusting them like you're like okay what do they want like you still see them as trickster but it's telling you to give it time. This person, and you have time, you know? Because like I tell people, I have more time than money. You have time to figure this person out, to see for who they really are. But again, don't give it away so quick. Meaning that, yes, trust, coming back in somebody's life, everything has to be earned. So let them work the work, okay? Let them show you with hard work and in, in any way, shape, or form that they change and they, they, that it is worth it to take them. Do not be like, okay, he did this, he did that. No, let them show it to you because like I said before, if you're gonna take them, if you are going to start over, you can't just take words, you know? So let them show you, let them show you because I feel like they should be able to. And look at the bottom here, they want marriage down the road or how you love to come in let's put it like that is it worth giving this person a chance is it even worth it for libras to give this person a chance with the eight of wands the six of swords the nine of cups and the world of yours and the bottom three of cups so it's telling you that things will move differently. Be, be, things are going to move differently. And I feel like this person and you will face a moment of like the, the two energies of like he or she moving like openly and you moving more cautiously is going to make this connection move at the right speed because you are like the bump on the road that keeps a car from going too fast, you know? 
and some people be like to crash too no 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 that's the driver <laughs> that's no no bump but um yeah this connection i feel like this person's going like green and you're putting a little bit of the yellow light just to keep it in like in a right speed because you are getting back to the idea that okay they're back getting back in the idea that you know you're doing this again you know and once again you need time to figure it out if it feels worth it you know but with the nine of cups in the world right here it's telling you that it's not written in stone because we got the world in reverse it's not written in stone at the end of the day you are the one who decides where this goes you know but it's telling you that you will never know if you don't try because are you planning on living of tarot readings for the rest of your life to know how this relationship will feel or if you have the chance to be with this person wouldn't you take the risk to see how it, how it feels or how it work and i know people be like why are you calling it risk da, da, da. because you feel it like that you feel it's a risk and i'm telling you what are you gonna do it's telling you like you decide what to do because i tell people like my readings are not to tell you what to do it's for guidance yet again you have two hands two arms two legs or whatever you know where to go what to grab but it's telling you that if you want to this person and you know it is worth it but you have to find a way to forget the past move on from it completely and again take the chance to see this person because it leads to three of cups which is celebration but once again the six of cups in reverse is still here which is you're hesitating to take the cup or not but is leading to success that's the fact that's a fact so what is the outcome between libra and this person the two of swords in reverse the four of wands justice in reverse libra energy thank you spirit the three of pentacles the king of cups let me just get this real quick the everything is fine which is the ten of swords and the ace of swords so we have again your energy we in libra you know all of that jazz right so what is telling me here hmm it's telling me that at least at the end of the day you guys are not going to have this indecision of like what if you know like i've seen like i've seen your videos many times and i've done your videos and it says a lot of like what if i wonder wondering it's not longer on the table justice i feel like something still feel unstable because i feel like your energy is very undecisive if you should take the risk or not but with the three of pentacles right here and the king of cups right here it's like like i said before it feels like it's pretty much all in your hands because with the i'm sorry with the three of pentacles i should have said that in the king of cups right here right now you are taking your power back you have taken your power back and you are in this situation that you're you know what you deserve and you're in this energy of like no you should be honored <laughs> to be in my life you know kind of energy and this is not self-centered this is just you know how self-love works you are not supposed to be with everybody okay and of course the world hasn't made you to be alone but it's not for you to be with anybody so if this person wants you they have to treat you like the piece of art that you are you know treat you with delicacy care focus on you be concentrated in you uh you know take time you know like that is like a piece of art like unique you're unique and they should be able to treat you like that and if they don't then you should look the other way but this person like i said before does want a relationship with you and they're willing they see you like that already but like i said before don't hold back libra if something bothers you with everything is fine don't hold back if you're per upset about something with the connection don't hold back anymore because not telling this person things is going to affect you and them at the end of the day but what is going on yes they do want to be with you they do want a real relationship with you but you need to also let those fears and those thoughts that like don't let you sleep or those thoughts that makes you insecure and jealous you know like you need to work on that and if something needs to be said said it 
just find a way to find the words that they're not as rude because like i said before our relationship is all based also trust and respect and if you start disrespecting each other with words uh, that is just like bad i'm telling you that it's not going to end well so always find the find the key or find a way to communicate what's bothering you tell them to do the same thing and always communicate with each other because you guys have so much potential to be with this person this person has changed so much and i feel so at peace with this person like it is worth giving them a chance okay but of course if you don't want to i love you so much i'm not gonna judge you and i'm not gonna try to convince you otherwise but once again just the key for this connection to work is communication please do not match their, their past energies with being stubborn and not communicate like i said before the key of this connection and the key of the fall for this connection was not being communicated communicative enough right now the key for the success of this connection is communication you guys have to be able to communicate with your person like i said before they love you you love them make it work but if something bothers you if something bothers them let them know that they're open to talk to you let and let them know that you're gonna tell them and with the ace of swords it is worth fighting for it is worth waiting for but once again a relationship is not a, a day on the pool a freaking relationship is hard work but it doesn't feel like hard work because it's a teamwork so keep in mind that it is worth waiting for it is worth fighting for but again you guys have to put the same effort as the other person but communication is key communication is key so let me see what kind of message i got for you this is a new deck that i got this was the original uh deck that i had for the other day that i couldn't upload it because it got corrupted the video got corrupted so let me just give you oh let me just get that card in one we got the cards so at the bottom we got play-doh and it says at the touch of a lover everyone becomes a poet love is simply the name for the sire and pursuit of the whole universe the madness of love is the greatest of heaven's blessings cleopatra and it says, when you are conquered, consider who wins. A queen must lead while a wife might follow. But both are diplomats. Be immortal, not defeated. Hmm. And at the bottom here, the, or the last one. Sigmund Freud, or Freud. I don't know how this person's name is pronounced. The victorious content themselves with dreaming what they, wick, what they wicked do in real life. Wicked. Oh, okay. The victorious content content themselves with dreaming what the wicked do in real life. The behavior of a human in sexual matters is often a prototype for the whole of his life. Pure masculinity or femininity is not to be found. So this is the end of your reading. Thank you so much for your love and support. Again, thank you so much for the nice messages. I want to cut it because I'm losing my voice again and I'll be back tomorrow with more readings. Again, thank you, thank you, thank you for those who have purchased the membership, for those who keep joining, and for those who keep on following me on my Instagram. Again, babywitchpr and or uh, Kali. I forgot the name, honestly. It's just brand new. But I'll put it somewhere here, hopefully. If not... Um, I'll post it's posted on my on my YouTube stuff again thank you so much I love you guys so much and again I'll see you guys this week because I'm back I just had to make up for the short video that I did the other day so love you so much you guys have a blessing an amazing day and blessings for you bye